Hello everyone, this is Andrew Lundy and we are here for another installment of our SAP BTP certification series. We're talking about some of the new BTP business technology platform certification opportunities that are have been recently introduced in our second installment here. We're talking with Chandra, who has recently been through the process of getting the low code, no code certification. And I'd like to introduce you to Chandra and please give us a little bit about yourself and tell us a little bit about your experience getting certified. Thank you very much, Andrew. It was a wonderful experience though, but let me quickly start with my introduction. Hello everyone, I'm Chandra Bhushan. I'm part of SAP, working as a customer success partner, as a trusted advisor for our customers. Now, coming to the certification, I have recently completed my certification on, uh, or I have recently become an SAP certified develop, citizen developer associate. The reason why I took this certification, the first foremost thing which I, cite, I could cite here is my profile. I wanted, I as a trusted advisor, I had to present our organization with confidence in front of our customers so that they, we maintain the prestige and the credibility in front of that when we present the solution. The other aspects in terms of having a professional certification were more with respect to growing my knowledge and the skills in the area of low code, no code. Trust me that really proved to be beneficial. Though I have been a professional developer throughout my career for playing almost software developer role for close to more than a decade now, being a citizen developer is like adding a uh, topping on top of the current experience or the exposure that I have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About how long did you take to p kind of go through the materials and kind of prepare for the certification? What kind of effort are we talking? Days, hours? <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, Andrew, what I felt as with respect to the preparation, I actually prepared a small strategy, which I have even posted on uh, SAP blog platform, blog, uh, blogs.sap.com. Yeah, so excellent. even our audience can go over there, they can search for my name, Chandra Bhushan, and they can find out the strategy or, or the ways how to prepare for uh, the certification. Now, coming back to your question here, how much time did I take? So as part of my strategy, I actually collected certain resources. The first and the most credible resource which I found was the learning.sap.com platform. Mm -hmm. Trust me, instead of hopping around and finding numerous resources from the internet, these a couple of resources like learning.sap.com and SAP community and the mm -hmm. blocks. These three things have helped me incredibly. Now learning.sap.com, I should express my gratitude to the content creators for this website because I could see the learning material has been catered to the need of all the citizen developers. Mm -hmm. You need not have the, you know, the developer experience as such. So I heard people coming and asking me this question. Even our customer side, people have asked me about do I need to have the development skills or the coding skills to become a citizen developer? Trust me, this is a most simplest way. If I say, if you have the business experience, you are a business process expert, or you work day in and out in the industry on the business processes, then this certification is the best option that you have at this point of time. And SAP's low code, no code uh, journey has been tremendously uh, helpful for, you know, in the ecosystem. So I, I just spent in like 18 hours from the certificate learning.sap.com, which is a course catered for 18 hours, including the hands-on exercises. Mm -hmm. You should go through the quiz. They sh our audience should also go through the, the hands-on exercises, which are maintained after each learning unit. That really helps them. So I would suggest people can first decide on the reason why they wanted to get certified. 
and once they have made up their mind then i would really suggest them to start their journey from learning.sap.com platform and also sap has given the community which is sap low code no code community there you can find you know the entire life cycle of what the low code no code offering from sap is mm-hmm. so that will make our life really easy yeah you know the way you describe it it sounds very approachable especially for the non-programmer types i know i think it's it's easy for us to kind of presume everybody understands what development is all about but uh, you make a great point that really embracing the citizen developer sort of mentality and getting familiar with this tool set kind of lets you as the developer or as the person wanting to kind of build something to get something brought into reality it gives you kind of a common language and metaphor and tool that you can share with the domain experts that you're interacting with and it kind of gives you a common a common playground and where you can collaborate and actually get things done it's not just hypothetical it's not just powerpoints it's not just wireframes you're actually describing and building together in the same sort of space yes sir andrew so i would like to also add up here andrew in terms of the timing as you mentioned i like to add up like 18 hours is just the learning journey material mm-hmm. which has been created mm-hmm. but trust me we have to invest sufficient time to know about the tool it is not just only about the certification it is about our journey how do we want to take that certification ahead mm-hmm. so my reason as i cited having the professional credibility having the growth the knowledge and boosting my efficiency because i i am the face of sap in front of my customers so right. I, they rely on my advice so i i need to be 100% sure when i commit something to them when i explain about the low code no code offering from sap they should be in a situation to trust me and mm-hmm. how to, how can i bring that trust so this mm-hmm. certification has actually proved to be really beneficial so uh, there is no short short answer that it will be like if you study for 18 hours you can do it definitely if you study for 18 hours you can complete the learning journey you can invest further more time give yourself some space get to know the requirement you can always enter into the business process expert space where you know the industry better and this is my you know advice to all my colleagues who are listening to this please understand if you are a professional developer it does not restrict you from taking the certification or getting into the low code or no code space it only enhances your skill set and to the already people who are uh, no coders or basically the business developers or the business process experts mm-hmm. for those community i would suggest till now you have been relying completely on the it or the professional developers now you have your own tools available in the market which right. is sap's low code no code tool so shandra what you're saying is that for the really the first time the domain experts have something that they can really use to collaborate with what was always that black box of what the programmer the application developer was were doing and have a common language to to kind of work through the business issues absolutely yeah, andrew i should say this is kind of a very good news because sap's low code no code offering actually gives a wonderful opportunity for the non professional developers which i should say as the business process experts also to express their business knowledge in the form of you know the applications or the automated workflows so now the business process experts need not completely rely on the it or the professional developers they also have the opportunity to explore the low code no code offering from sap but it does not stop the it developers to explore this space because it also benefits them to have the business process knowledge so in, right. in, in 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 yeah in in a very simpler way the it professional developers are still holding their space in the area of development the only difference which it makes is it also gives an easy hand or a a kind of 
hands-on platform for the business process experts also to try out. Mm-hmm. So when they work together, the results are outstanding, and that's how SAP's vision in the low-code, no-code area has been. That's right. Yeah, and and the more the the developer side of things understands the domain, the specialty, you know, the better they can make all sorts of dis- little small decisions in that are going to contribute positively to the overall experience right and instead of having to wait to go back and forth between the domain experts and the development and handing back and forth you've got this place that where you can really meet in the middle and get a lot done quickly and like you said the developer the core developer at heart should see this as a tool to like leverage their effort and get things built quickly and get them in front of the domain expert so that you can get to more quickly to that collaboration phase. Exactly, Andrew. Okay. So I, I would like to cite one example. Oh, uh, great, yeah. As a professional developers in the consulting domain, whenever we used to face customers, there has been a layer of business process experts between us and the customers, between the professional developers and the customers. Mm-hmm. And the reasons are but obvious because they are the experts in the area. They understand the business knowledge we as the professional developers always take a back seat, wait for the wireframes or the prototypes to be prepared by the business process experts and to be handed over to us. And then we start our professional background. We use all the tips and tricks and all the level of professional coding, which is required. Mm. But now with this offering, it becomes really easy for the business process experts and for us to sit together in front of the customer because we are also there to prepare the quick prototypes as and when we speak with the customers we can in no time trust me within few hours we can prepare a prototype live prototype for our customers along with our business process experts so that is a win situation for both you know you make a great point that with this kind of collaboration tool and kind of speed to product sort of approach, you do get to bring that developer into the discussion with the customer. And I know from my own experience that hearing the customer talking about the problem and what their aspirations are is so important to hear that directly from them as the developer, because so often the, you know, the domain experts talk to the customer and then they filter it, they give their own spin. They may include or may not include certain things when they try to formalize it such that it's, you know, a consumable for you, the developer. And a lot of that sort of innuendo gets lost. This gives everyone an opportunity to sit around the table and really collaborate without that friction. So this is on, this is an awesome development. And I'm happy to see that you know, it's been a productive and interesting and rewarding experience for you. So is there anything else you want to tell us about, about the certification? I mean, that we need to know, I, I, I assume all the resources that you mentioned and thanks for mentioning those with the community and the learning journeys and things that they'll be linked below and in association with this recording. So I'll just let you kind of wrap it up there. Andrew, I'll touch base upon your previous question and I would like to share something with our wider audience in terms of what resources uh, the resource which I'm talking about is learning.sap.com I'd like to show to our participants and would like to add make a point here the point here is when uh, we start preparing for the certification needless to say we should be completely sure in terms of our objective that we want to achieve. Yeah. So when I say the objective here, when I took up the certification, there has been so many questions in my mind from a professional developer having more than a decade of experience, I'm switching to a citizen developer. Will it be kind of uneasiness that I would face in the industry? Trust me, it is not that case. It is in fact adding on top of my existing experience and it creates a more of a credibility and prestige in front of our customers. At the same time, it adds up the credibility in our profile. When we see from the career growth, having the certification, it definitely adds up a weightage there. 
Now, this is the platform which I'm talking about, the resource that we should be seeing. So for the audience, this is the learning.sap.com platform. You, you might have uh, till now heard about open SAP courses that still exist. You can definitely go there and find out. But along with that, this platform gives you the bundle of the required and the relevant resources for attempting not just the low code, no code certification, but also the other certification. So you could see here, you can take a free learning journey and that's how SAP is investing in it so that people get the right resources instead of hopping around on different social media platforms. This is the first point of entry and should be the first point of entry for our audience to kickstart their journey. So once they have their objective clear, please make sure you attempt with the right resource because that in turn saves time and you have the correct resource to go through and then once you pick up your learning journey from here, it tells you beforehand how much time you have to take up for the certification for this. I invested close to three months of time, I should say, and it varies from individuals because this course can also be done in just two to three days, but I will never recommend. Please take your own time to observe the skill set, to get to know what kind of business requirements may come in this area and how this journey of citizen developer can actually help. So this is the place where you can find all these resources. The second resource is SAP Discovery Center. I wanted to show you this. Please access this platform to have a look of what these services are available on the SAP's business technology platform, which is a next generation platform. And I'm very proud to be working on this because it opens up the opportunity to have a lot of innovative solutions in our existing cloud business solutions or in any kind of third party solutions that we have. So you can look out for the services in this discovery center and you can find out your service with respect to the applications or the tools under the low code, no code portfolio. So you have workflow management, you have IRPA, you have app driver, just get onto the service catalog look for the respective tool, get to know in and out of it and be prepared. Great yeah. advice. Great advice there, Chandra. Well, awesome. Well, thanks for showing us that. I know with SAP, there's a lot of resources out there. It can be confusing, especially if you're new to SAP and are not familiar with what's available. Please utilize the community as was mentioned and you know, if you get stuck, don't be afraid to reach out and ask some questions. We're here to help you. You know, with that, Chandra, thanks so much for spending some time with us today and talking about your experience. I wish everybody the best of their rest of their day and good luck on your own journeys. Thanks so much. And we'll talk My soon. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Andrew. Take care, right. everyone. Bye, everyone.